so would everybody want to know something? Would everybody like to know something about Ah great, former Tarnish that. Isn't he just brilliant? He goes off and he talks to the World Health Organization and um, he gives them nine million every year, isn't he just brilliant? Um and then he wants to keep his cow even though he's not tarnished anymore. He wants to keep his cow, he wants to keep his cow the driver. Um he wants us to pay. He wants us to pay. He's like sounds like Donald Trump a bit. He wants you should ask Mexico. Do you not think he should go to the Mexican embassy um, and talk his way to the Mexican ambassador to Ireland? As he usually does, as he goes and bullshits off to China, um, he bullshits to every other country um, to try and get as much as he can in his back pocket in an envelope. Um, but he, apparently he won't ask them for, can they pay for his insurance, his diesel, his... You know, his tax and everything like that. And uh, you, the taxpayer, us, you and me, you have to pay for that. And this is the best part of it. You know, and the Department of Defense is literally crumbling before him. The Defense Forces is crumbling before him. Our national security is absolutely in shambles, you know. And he has the audacity. You know, he can well afford. Like, it's not that he's not poor or anything like that. I wouldn't mind if it was a man that you had nothing. And you know we needed the you know he needed the state to pay for his cow. Like say if I need say if I had a cow in the morning, would I go to the government and say you know I'm struggling to pay for my cow, I can't afford insurance, you know I can't afford to keep my cow on the road, I can't afford NCT. You know, the government would say that's too bad. You know we don't care. You paid your tax all your life. We just couldn't care less. You know we were all worried about Simon over here that haven't you know he doesn't pay any tax or any of that. He has his bank account in Switzerland. You know. A top class citizen, you know, a credit to society, <laughs> you know, he made a mess of the defense forces. He literally, there's only Paddy and Jim left in the defense forces. And by the way, they should have got Paddy from the pub. If they got Paddy from the pub, or Mary from bloody Tipperary to come in and wander and wander the defense forces or wander the Department of Defense. They do a better job than Simon Howard. You know, Simon Howard's going to him Simon Howard's, um, the Simon Coveney has done. Because, you know, I don't even think he knows that he's the department in the Department of Defense. Because he's taken out, like, he's just going to make a crumble again. Um, his predecessor absolutely crumbled it. Like, my God, the defense forces, you know, i never seen such a country treat its army so badly. Um, and he has the audacity to ask for a Gala driver and to keep his Gala driver. And to ask you and I to pay for his Gala driver and to pay for his tax and to pay for his insurance. Can he not just open his wallet? Like, I know, I know I speak for myself, cabin people, find the hardies. Like, every TV seems like they're from cabin because they're afraid to open the wallet. Um, but he has a lot of money. Like, let's be honest. He has his fortune made, he has his pension, he has everything. He never, ha he never has to open his wallet again. Like, you and I have to pay for everything he, he does. He goes off to Spain, we have to pay for it. He goes here, he goes there, he talks to this ambassador, we pay for it. Every dinner they have, we pay for it. You know, it's kind of a very good society, isn't it? Um, it's, it seems like the royalty. Um, it seems like we might as well call them the royal family in this country. We might as well give me a mountain as... Me whole mountain, sorry. Um, as the king and put bloody... Um, trying to think of a woman now to put as queen. Um, um, Why well, we go... I don't know. I just don't know. But it's, um, I don't know, I'm confused myself now. I'm actually just confused myself. But anyway, you know what I'm saying. It's kind of like royalty. Like, my God, I've never seen such overspend in my life. You know, you know, mind-blowing. Like, they'll laugh at you if that was any other country. Um, any white-minded country, they'll laugh at you. And, you know, still people say, you know, I'm going to pay for my, I'm going to pay my tax because you know I want to keep my country like reason why people pay tax to what services um and Ireland you know at any moment in time could be attacked by any country um and you know especially cyber attacks things like that um and you know we have to pay for here and the defense forces budget probably has to go towards this cow um I wouldn't mind but he probably get new cow and everything wait and see um more expense than the taxpayer um you can see this, you can just see, like, he can pay himself, he can pay for a private driver himself, he can take it out of his wallet and say, you know, I'm not going to ask the average taxpayer to pay, but he will, he will. This is the 
shambles we have in this government. But anyway, that's just one of many, many things that's happened at the moment of time across this bloody corrupt state in government. And, you know, Green Party Sinn Féin. You know, we, Green Party, they fucking... <laughs> Green Party, Fianna Fáil, Fianna Gael, I'll see them get mixed up with the whole Adam Wilson, they're nearly all the same. They all want the... Oh, what this much money is they can get off the people wrong. But anyway, thank you for watching. Subscribe more and bye.